Lauren Sarasua. All right, guys, day two, spear fishing in the Keys. You like this bikini? A little neon green. <laughs> I am so excited because I'm leaving to Mexico tomorrow. It's such a beautiful day outside. I should be spearfishing, but I'm packing all my stuff. I'll show you what it looks like outside. Beautiful day. I'm gonna meet my friend Steele there, and we're gonna be there for about five or six days. So it's gonna be super fun. Not all the days are gonna be for spearfishing because some days it's, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit windy but we're gonna do some exploring and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So I hope you enjoy it. My living room is a mess because I'm just getting all my gear out. Ah, extra fins, some guns, but yeah, gotta put all this into that, into my sport tube. Ready to go, I have all my stuff packed, all my gear. On our way to the airport. We'll be there in about 10 minutes. But I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I always do on my way to the airport. I, I have a VPN installed on my phone, and so I always make sure that I have that ready to go before I get to the airport because when you're traveling, you, you know, you, you're connecting to public Wi-Fi a lot, so what I use is Surfshark VPN, which is a virtual private network, and it protects you from people that are trying to get your personal information over these public Wi-Fi's. And it has a bunch of other really cool features. I'll talk more about that. One of the features that I use the most is definitely to check for price discrimination. So as you can see here, if you're in the UK, it shows you certain prices for tickets and hotels but once you log into the VPN, you can choose a different country, such as the United States, do the same search, and you'll see that there's price difference. So you can really save a lot of money. Big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. By using the link in my description and promo code MERMAID, you'll get 83% off and three months for free. Quesadillas, we're at this little spot on the side of the road eating some food and there's little doves and chickens everywhere. Looks authentic. Hope it's delicious. There's little chickens everywhere. They don't serve chicken at this restaurant. <laughs> I guess they're the pets. Oh, oh my god, you guys. We have been through some shit. <laughs> have we not? Yeah. Okay, so we get to our first Airbnb and we'd been talking to these people for like the entire day. They're saying, yeah, come, come, we're here. We're waiting for you. So we get there. And it turns out that they tell us that their, their listing wasn't even supposed to be on Airbnb, so they can't house us, so they showed us another room. We got an entire house with like three bedrooms, a full kitchen, a pool, like 
everything. It, it was beautiful. And then they showed us this alternative room that was like literally three beds. They said they had no warm water, no warm running water. So we would have to take cold showers. And it was literally just a room with a microwave and three beds. And we were like, no, this is not going to work. Now it's, so it's 11.05 now. We got there like, what time did we get there? Mm, I want to say like probably 9.45. Like 9.45? Yeah. So we got there around that time. And so we were like scrambling, trying to find other Airbnbs. And finally, we decided just to get a, another place really quickly. But now we find it's, it's dirty. And I mean, it comes with stale bread. It comes with stale bread. And, yeah, definitely and my room, it's not done. It has like everything. The towels are, ugh, there's bottles. That's there's awesome. no towels for us to use in the bathroom because they're already used. The bathroom is so dirty, so. <laughs> so, we've had a rough start. We're gonna see. I mean, there's a washer and dryer, so we'll maybe I can. Big ass fish. Yeah, we better shoot some big ass fish. Make this trip worth it. But we're sweating. We've been we've been attacked by Goliath mosquitoes, and we're ready to have a drink and maybe wash my bed. We'll see. We'll I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Hopefully we'll we. Yeah, we'll survive. <laughs> We're still smiling, so it can't be that bad. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the morning. We just drove a few hours and we just got to this place called Cenote uh, Yoksonot. I'm excited to see it. Look how beautiful. Somewhere down there. We just have to walk down and check it out. So we're gonna get all of our gear Head down, do some free diving. 325, en cuanto es This place is beautiful. It's really nice. So nice. I think it's one of the nicest. So apparently they're making us take life jackets down to the water. Yep. Look at this. Super cool. Alright, let's go. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna climb down, get our gear on, and I'll take you in the water. Just changed, showered, because they don't want you getting any like sunscreen or any chemicals in the little fresh water. These are freshwater cenotes. So nice here. You can hear all the birds singing. So beautiful. Look at this spot. Now we're just walking down. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it gets a little slippery. Yeah. Oh, oh God, it's slippery. Band aid for you. Yeah. <laughs> Free band aid. It's so cool. Okay. Almost there. One more set of steps. 
really hope I'm wearing the right amount of weight. Because if not, it's too late to turn back. Oh, it's slippery. Cheat. Slippery sliding in the water. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm going in. Look at it. So beautiful. All right, let's get it. No visibility. Not clear. Creepy. It's so dark. It's dark and They said that it was raining a lot this past week, so that's why the water's so murky. Fish sucks, but you can still see the cool little fish. I'm filming here and there's two dragonflies making love on top of my GoPro. <laughs> They're flying around me now. The ground here in the Yucatan Peninsula is made of a sedimentary rock called limestone. It's a porous rock composed mostly of calcite. The cenotes were formed when rainwater dissolved the limestone to form underwater caves. The caves kept expanding as rain and ocean water seeped into them until it became so large that the ceiling became super thin and the above ground collapsed, opening up the earth to form a cenote. Each cenote is unique. They're not all like this one that's open. Some are closed and have stalactites and stalagmites that form inside of them. It's super cool because you can even see some fossils from sea creatures in the cave from when the sea level rose during the cycles of the Ice Age. It's super interesting. Also, there are different animals and plants that populate the cenotes, and some are unique species that have evolved to live in their isolated conditions. So some even only exist in their cenote, like where they are exactly. So those species are unique. It's super cool. Look how funny these little fish are. They're just checking me out. Like, what the heck are you? If you go visit these cenotes in the Yucatan, I highly suggest you just go in and hang out by the roots and just stay still and you'll see all these little fish come and check you out. <laughs> They're so cute. All right, we're getting kicked out, but 
That was nice. A little murky, but it was still beautiful. And there's birds flying around everywhere, and some cool little fish. But it was warm. It was like almost 80 degrees. I did not expect that. I think the rainwater probably warmed up the, the cenotes water. All right. Come on, I start. We're out of here. We're out of here. Just gonna get changed. Probably head back to our place. Beautiful.